Thank you, Madam Speaker. I rise today in opposition of H.R. 8373, the Right to Deception Act. First, this bill is completely unnecessary. In no way, shape, or form is access to contraception limited or at risk of being limited. The liberal, the liberal majority is clearly trying to stoke fears and mislead the American people once again, because in their minds, stoking fear clearly is the only way that they can win. No state, not one, not one state across the country has banned access to contraceptives. That is a fact and an inconvenient one on the left because now they are left to make up wild stories about states that they cannot name banning contraceptives. However, rather than uniting behind the broad and common sense notion that access to safe and legal contraception is important, my colleagues on the left have once again chosen political theater, but I guess that would explain the connection to Hollywood, right? But it's time to get past the theater and look at these inconvenient facts that my colleagues on the left will not tell you about and their outrageous claims. They claim that this is a clean codification to ensure that contraceptives can never be banned in this country, but let me be clear, this goes far beyond that claim. In fact, this bill jeopardizes constitutional rights of individuals and organizations across this great land by forcing providers to prescribe various forms of contraception that violates their religious rights. We are a nation that upholds and values religious freedom, and this bill, this bill here today flies in the face of individuals with religious liberty concerns. As a constitutional conservative, I'm also disturbed by the provisions within this, within this bill that attempt to provide a backdoor abortion service provider like Planned Parenthood to tap into more federal taxpayer dollars. This bill brought on under false pretenses by the left in a vain attempt to scare Americans with lies and exaggeration represents a clear overstep of federal authority. And if you are still wondering why every single member in this chamber should be voting against this bill, the Right to Deception Act, you should know that this administration has already proven that they will stick a highly the politicized time of the DOJ. Has expired. I yield the, the lady an additional minute. Uh, the gentlewoman is recognized for an additional minute. So if you are wondering, once again, why every single member in this chamber who took an oath to uphold the United States Constitution, not a political party's oath, if you are wondering why you should vote against the Right to Deception Act, you should know that this administration has already proven that they will sick a highly politicized DOJ on concerned parents. They've done it before, they will do it again. And this bill here today would take away a parent's rights with regard to their children and the state laws that are designed to protect minors. No bureaucrat in Washington knows better than our parents back at home, and I would be happy to debate that fact any day. So let's recap. This bill, the Right to Deception Act, is looking to solve a problem that doesn't exist. Exist. But more than that, in seeking to solve a problem that doesn't exist, you want to spend more of our taxpayer money to grow the size and scope of government and to allow more abortions to occur and kill our children. Cool. Y'all are a real piece of work. Folks back home, they see right through this, and they'll see through it in November. I urge opposition to this bill, and I yield the remainder of my time.